Hey, what's up guys, GK here. So by the end of this video, you're going to learn a cool tool or a cool service in Google Cloud called Cloud Scheduler. So Cloud Scheduler is a fully managed enterprise grade cron job scheduler. So it allows you to schedule virtually any job, including bad jobs, big data jobs, or cloud infrastructure operations. You can pretty much automate everything. And the best part of the Cloud Scheduler is that it can retry in case of failures. So back in those days, whenever you want to schedule something, so what we used to do is we used to create a Linux server um, or a Windows scheduler. And then in Linux, you create a cron tab and then schedule specific time. And obviously we all know that, you know, if that service got failed, it would not retry. So you have to create a logic of uh, retrying in your maybe shell script or Python script. So the managed uh, cloud scheduler in this case, will help you to do retry and then um, it can automate a lot of tasks of uh, scheduling the jobs. So in this demo, I'm going to demonstrate a simple use case where I'm going to create a pub sub topic and then I'm going to send messages every one minute using Cloud Scheduler. Let's go to the console. And from here, I'm going into the Cloud Shell. As you have seen in my previous videos, I've always um, created services or played around with services from the UI. But this time I'm trying to do it from the command prompt so that you'll be more familiar with Cloud Shell as well. Okay, first things first, if you haven't watched my PubSub video, I would highly recommend watching that. Click on this above link. So that will show you how to create PubSub topic from uh, UI. In this case, I'm going to use Cloud Shell to create a PubSub topic, which is gcloud PubSub topics create Cron scheduler. All right, so a topic is created. So let's look at the PubSub to see if this topic got uh, successfully created. Okay, so you can see a topic here. Now for topic, you need a subscriber. So I'm gonna create a subscriber. It's gcloud PubSub, again, service name subscriptions create cron subscriber and on the topic cron scheduler all right so if i refresh this page you will see a subscriber for this topic all right you can see a cron sub subscription which is created here So with the subscription uh, created, let's go to Cloud Scheduler service. Search for Cloud Scheduler. And then since I do not have any job, I'm gonna create a new job. Cre here I can call this as cron job without spaces. And then sending messages to PubSub. So frequency, if you're familiar with the Linux cron, job scheduling you know that uh, the famous five stars where the first one is minute second one is hour third is day of the month fourth is month and fifth is day of the week and for this demo i'm going to have four five stars which means that it's going to be executed every minute so time zone united states and um, EST. New York. And then target. Pops up. You can also give like HTTP here or app engine HTTP. So with HTTP, for example, uh, if you have a scenario you want to execute cloud function if, for every certain duration amount of time, or there are some people who want to keep their you know serverless functions warm so they they also use that to schedule you know um, every minute or every five minutes and, and execute that cloud function so either you can do that or you know for this demo i'm just going to use up sub and the topic is this topic which we have created here cron scheduler and payload i'm going to give it as All right, so let's create this. All 
okay now we have the job created i'm going to run this job okay so i see result success now what we can do is if you see this result success we can try pulling the messages from here by using gcloud pub sub subscriptions pull cron subscription limit five messages we can see that uh, we got two responses so far um, i think i might have done it pretty quickly and it it has sent only two messages in obviously in last two minutes because we scheduled after every minute i hope this video will be helpful for you all to do bigger stuff using cloud scheduler that's all for this video guys thank you so much for watching have a good day bye